Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. I am Vazi and this is Vazi TV where I provide tutorials, information and inspiration on all things natural hair from locks to curls and coils as well. And in today's video, I'm going to be trying the Aztec Mask Clay. Clay Mask, the Aztec clay mask <laughs> on my hair for the very first time this is something i have been wanting to try for the longest and i finally was able to get my paws on some of the product honey but before we get into this video if there is anything that you can take from this video or any of my previous videos whether that be a laugh a smile or just some bomb information that you didn't know before please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and cut on your bell notifications so that you are notified every time that I post a video let's go ahead and just jump right into it because honey it is 12 o'clock in the morning I may be tripping with this one but I figured this was the best time to go ahead and get this done because I just clocked off work and I'm not really sleepy the kids are knocked out and Bay is at work yourself so I was like why not get it over with plus it was time for me to do something different in my hair again so let's go ahead and get into it I'm gonna go ahead and let you know all the products that I have so I have the Alright, there we go. I have the Aztec clay mask here. I have some apple cider vinegar. And I also have I have a plastic fork and a plastic bowl. I didn't have a plastic spoon and it says specifically to mix clay with equal parts of raw apple cider vinegar and or water and to use a non-metal bowl and utensils. And I have watched multiple videos on doing this and everybody says not to do it. And it says it like right here on the bottle, so I mean, you listen. Um, it's supposed to like remove the benefits from it if you use metal, so don't use no metal. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this. Now it says to use equal parts, but again, I've watched multiple tutorials on this and ain't nobody measuring nothing. Cause I mean, wow. I just got a lot of this on my pants just by opening it. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It's real powdery. You probably can't even tell. So let me just show you. Anyways, like I was saying, I've watched multiple videos on this. Nobody measures this shit. They just basically eyeball it. And that's what we're gonna do. So this is what it looks like. It's really powdery. Oh, sheesh. I mean, I mean, I mean, all right. So I just dusted some of that in there. And now I'm gonna take this ACV, mix that in there too. Now listen. In the background, I have my diffuser going, but I hope when I pour this in here, you can hear what I'm telling you to listen for, because when you pour this in there, it's supposed to do like this sizzle thing. So let's see. Definitely does. And like hella bubbles. So the key to this is getting the consistency to be smooth enough for you to be able to get it through your strands easily. So you basically eyeball it. Kind of want it to be like a pancakey texture, like a pancake mix texture. So you do what you got to do to get it how you need it. And I thought this fork wasn't going to work, but it's actually working. And... I'm excited about this one, y'all. It's supposed to make your curls just like. So we're gonna see. You know what? On the first try, I think I got this absolutely right. Honey. Okay. I mean, peep game. Speaks for itself. Speaks for itself. Alright. Hopefully this is enough. I mean, I still have more if not. 
but I don't have that much hair. So it should be fine. All right, so for the application. Now, biggest key is to have your hair super wet. So I did like run my hair under the water before I came and started filming. Um, oh, another big tip that I've learned in watching some videos doing this is this clay mask is like shampooing your hair. So after you put this clay mask on, do not shampoo your hair. Deep condition, yes. Shampoo, no. Because this is getting all the impurity, all the you know build up and stuff out of your hair and snapping it back so you don't want to shampoo again because then you'll be doing too much so like i said i did wet it it's supposed to be like really damp so i'm going to take my spray bottle and spray it down some more this water feels amazing it's so warm mm-hmm mm -hmm. all right so we're gonna drench this Ooh, child. All right. <sighs> Let's do this, y'all. I'm a little nervous. I don't know what to expect. I don't even know how big is the section I should take. Mm. <sighs> All right. I'm just gonna start, y'all. It's just whatever. Like. this oh my gosh a piece of the <laughs> piece of the fork this shit is super messy and they told me that and I don't have nothing under me y'all I'm sitting on carpet Y'all comment below if you guys have done this mask before and let me know what your take on it is, how it did your hair. And if you haven't, try it and then let me know. Cause I'm curious, okay? I'm curious. I don't know how to feel just yet. I feel like I need to wet it some more. Or something. Honey. Because I underestimated how thick my hair is. Yes, it's cut, but <laughs> baby, it's thick, okay? Let's just see. Let's just see. Cause I'm almost to the end of the cut. I'm also almost to the end of the bowl. <laughs> Ooh, child. Okay, wait. Mm. It might be alright. It might be alright. If we're gonna be honest, this is where I really need the girls to pull through because your girl got 4B4C hair however around the perimeter of my hair it's more like 4B 4A slightly but more 4B so I need for this to show up and show out so your girl ain't got to manipulate because otherwise, it's getting cut low. Okay. <laughs> Again, your girl's measurements was on point. I thought I was going to need more. But I'm actually going to scrape the bowl. Cause... I kind of already got it all done. Like I said, I'm sitting on the carpet. So that's why I did that wiggle around. But I want to show y'all the back. I need to see the back for myself. I'm hell about to scrape this bowl and put the rest of this in here because, baby, <laughs> no mask left behind. But also, if you wanted to, you could um, use this as a face mask. I saw that a lot. 
while I was doing my research as well. Something I'm gonna have to try, but not tonight. Cause I got time for that. All right, so I've seen videos where they say it needs to dry completely before you rinse it out. I've seen a couple that say you don't need to let it dry, but since this is my first time, and I really want to get the max benefits out of this, I'm gonna let it dry for a second. You feel me? <laughs> and then, then I'm gonna rinse it out, and we're gonna see how them curls end up. The front. It's kind of already like hella defined, like, what? And like I said, in the middle, in the middle of my head, it's more 4C, slightly 4B. So, you know, 4C hair is a little more coarse. So I'm just curious to see what it's gonna be. But y'all, I mean, there's some definition trying to happen here. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes, you know. You see that? Do you see that? It's there. Mm hmm We here. Hands are icky, icky, icky. So I'm going to wash this out and then I'm going to let this dry for about 10 minutes, rinse it out, come back and give you all my final thoughts. So stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm back. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is what it's looking like. not super divine like you know everybody was hollering about however it feels so amazingly clean like not stripped clean but <sighs> clean okay I really I mean I'm here for that because I already know having 4B, 4C hair, I have to manipulate my curls to get good definition in the first place. But you did see how it defined my curls whenever the mask was in. Um, but yeah, rinsed it out. This is what I got. I got my little fro back. <laughs> um, the sides did do pretty well. Just about that. Um, will I do this again? Yes, ma'am. I really want to see if I can do this at least once or once a month or once every two months just to like see what the consistency does because you know good things happen when you're consistent so but yeah like I said this is super it feels super clean it's light it doesn't feel heavy like it has any product in it because it don't um, but maybe once I style it I'll see a difference but y'all ain't finna see all that because like I said it's late and I'm ready to get to bed so um I think I'm just gonna throw some conditioner some deep conditioner in it and deep condition for a little while rinse that out and then probably style it tomorrow because I just want to go to bed at this point but yeah guys that's pretty much it for this video if you like this video if you would like to see me try more things for the first time with you guys drop a comment below let me know and yeah make sure you like this video and also again subscribe join the family because i would love to have you here so until next time i love you guys and i'll see you later